Hey what's up guys, it's Nick with Indiegoogle, and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to make ladders for your platforming game, and uh, something else that I uh, forgot to tell you in the previous tutorial. So the first thing we want to do is add in uh, two new sprites. We'll create a ladder, 32 by 32. Okay. Now I'm not sure if I've been over the selection tool and even if I have I'm just going to go over it one more time. So you can use this tool here to select pixels that you've drawn and you can uh, move them around, copy them, paste them, you know, anything like that. And that's what I'm going to be doing here because we need to fill the rest of this empty space with these bars so I'm just gonna co uh, highlight these and then hold CTRL and press C and then continue holding CTRL and press V okay now just slide it into place CTRL V again and keep doing that until the space is completely filled up okay and now we'll name that SPR Ladder. And now we need a climbing animation for the player. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, duplicate this SPR ball and edit it. And we'll just erase his face. Okay. Now. I've already shown you how to animate uh, walking animations. This is going to be similar, except he's not going to have a face. So the first thing we need to do is copy and paste this sub image. And then draw a line on his foot and erase the rest of it. Okay. Now copy and paste the first one again and then use these arrows to put it in place same thing with this one and now when you're doing a walking animation his face well if you followed my tutorials exactly his face would be over here and that would cause a problem you would have to uh, completely redo his foot again on this side instead of this side but since he doesn't have a face this time we can use a new tool that I don't think I've shown you yet so go up to transform and pick mirror slash flip and then uh, mirror horizontally it'll have an original and a new uh, image there for you to see and it's exactly the same as it would be if you were to just uh, erase part of his foot and draw the other one on so the walking and the climbing animation is done we need to go ahead and name that And I know I'm still using ball, even though he's more of a square now. I should have named him more appropriately in the beginning. But that's too late now. We'll go ahead and create the ladder object. And name it. And then go into the player in the create event. Skip down a few lines and add in a new variable called ladder and set it to false okay now add in a collision event with the ladder and Okay, now I want to go over one thing here too. You probably know what this code does, but I think I've been using stuff like x plus 0 and x plus 5, you know, things like that. But in this case, x would have been x plus 0 anyway. So I can just type in x 
and it'll work exactly the same way as if I typed in x plus 0. So that is not really a huge difference, but it can take off just a very small amount of time of your coding. So if you're just going to set this to plus 0, then don't even add in the plus 0, just leave the x or y letter there. Okay, and now we need to go into the step event. Scroll down a few lines and top in this. Okay, so we just need to make sure that when you're not touching the ladder, then ladder variable is set to false. And if ladder equals true, then gravity is set to zero and v-speed is set to zero. Okay, now let's go ahead and add the ladder into the room. Okay, now let's test this. Okay, it seems to be working pretty good. Let's go on ahead and add in a few more things though. Okay. And I'll put this in the wrong thing, so let's just copy this and add in this. Okay. And now, if ladder equals true, we need to add in this uh, image index or sprat index. What did I name that again? Ah, ball climbing. Okay. There we go. Now, um, we need to add in something here for when you're holding an arrow key, then he'll actually be animated. Okay, there we go. Now let's test it out. Okay. And he continues to be animated, so I know how to fix that. And he seems to be climbing a little bit fast, too. So let's go back in and change a few things. Set this to 2 should work. And step event. Else image speed equals 0. Okay. And you might have noticed that he is behind the ladder. So this is another thing that I've not been over yet. 
depth. Every object has depth. And if you want this object to be in front of another object, you're going to have to change the depth. For the player, it's best to set it to about minus 1000. When you go minus, that's going to bring it to the front in front of every other object. When, if you just type in 1000, then it's probably going to be below every object. So, set the player to about minus 1000. And if you want something to be in front of the player, then just set its depth to minus 1001. So, let's just use minus 1000 for this. And test it out again. And there we go. We have a ladder, climbing animation, and the player is now in front of the ladder. So that's all there is to the ladder. Going ahead and save your game. Now to the thing that I was talking about that I left out in the previous tutorial. Now you may have noticed that when you were under your vertical platform, then it would kind of push you into the ground when it collision with you. So we need to change that. Open up your vertical platform and let's see collision with or step event would be better. If place meeting x by y plus three j ball. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing it that way. Um, just remove that and type in v speed equals minus two. Because if the moving platform is collisioning with the player at a y plus three position, then it must be moving down. So you'll need it to just move back up. No need to uh, make it shift or go through all the v-speed things, checking what it's set to now and changing it to the opposite. Just v-speed equals minus two. And now let's test that. and wait on it to come back and there you go the vertical platform no longer pushes you into the ground and that's it for this tutorial um, if you have any suggestions or uh, questions about anything then just let me know and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. So I'll see you in the next one.